In most of the enterprise use cases, we need to connect with AWS resources privately from our data center. That's why hybrid network architecture is really important to understand. AWS provides different options like AWS Direct Connect, Site-to-Site -Site VPN to connect on-prem sites with Amazon VPC. In this video, we'll do a hands-on to set up a Site-to-Site -Site VPN between this cute little data center and AWS VPC. I have built this tiny data center using two Raspberry Pis, one acting as customer gateway and another one as on-prem server. In next few minutes, we'll implement this architecture. Left side is our on-prem data center. One Raspberry Pi is acting as customer gateway device. I have installed StrongSwan IPsec based VPN solution there. To represent this device on AWS side, we'll create customer gateway. Right side, we have Amazon VPC. One EC2 instance is running there. We'll create virtual private gateway and attach the same with this VPC. Then it will become entry and exit point for VPN traffic to or from this VPC. Finally, we'll create side to side VPN connection using customer gateway and virtual private gateway. We'll also configure both tunnels, tunnel one and tunnel two for redundancy and high availability. If everything goes well, we should be able to ping to this EC2 instance using private IP from this on-prem server or gateway device. Let's get started. Log into EC2 console and open VPC console. Under virtual private network, we'll find option to create customer gateways, virtual private gateways and side to side VPN connections. Click customer gateways. Click create customer gateway, provide name CWG1. This is the public IP address of the customer gateway device. In my case, it's a public IP of my router. Click create customer gateway. It's created. Now click virtual private gateways, create virtual private gateway, BPG1. Leave this as default, Amazon default ASN. Click create virtual private gateway. It is now in detached state. So now we are going to attach it with the VPC. Click actions, attach to VPC, select the VPC, click attach to VPC. So it is now attaching. So in the meantime, let's click side to side VPN connection, create VPN connection, VPN one. In our case, target gateway is virtual private gateway. So select the virtual private gateway that we created and in our case customer gateway is already existing so select existing and click for routing option we don't have bpg for our router so let's select static and provide the static ip prefix in my case it is cider range of my home network which is 10.10.0.24 .10 create vpn connection select the vpn connection it is now in pending state so if you click tunnels we can see there are two tunnels are created but status are down at this moment click download configuration i am going to select here strong swan the reason is that uh, the customer gateway device that i am using i have installed strong swan which is open source modular and portable ip based vpn solution it may be different or your use case let's download the configuration once downloaded let's open it this configuration file contains all the details that you need to do in your customer gateway device first i will install strong swan in uh, raspberry pi customer gateway device sudo apt install strong swan Open etc syscontrol.conf and to enable IP packet forwarding, let's uncomment net.ipv4.ip underscore forward equals once that line. Save it. 
to apply the change copy sudo syscontrol minus p it's applied now open ipsec.conf file if it does not exist create one let's uncomment unique ids equals no that line now we will copy the tunnel configuration so before we make the change let's uh, change few things here uh, let's uh, uncomment left up down that line and for vpc cider range let's go to vpc console copy the vpc cider range and replace it now copy the whole connection tunnel configuration section paste it here at the end and we'll do the same thing for tunnel 2 so let's first uncomment that left up down line and replace the cider range copy the whole section and paste at the end save the changes open ip6 secrets file if it does not exist create one and copy this shared secret for the tunnel one let's go and copy the shared secret for tunnel two paste it here save the changes now we'll skip the steps from two to five and directly jump to automated tunnel health check and failover section strong Swan provides built-in tunnel failover functionality through up down plugin so we can skip manual steps 2 to 5. Let's create ipsec.d aws updown.sh. Copy the whole script from here and paste it in aws updown.sh file. Save it. In my case, I was getting destination host unreachable, so I found the solution in Stack Overflow. So I had to add source, find add root function and go to the end of this ip root add line type src then local ip of customer gateway device save the change make up down sh as executable restart strong swan ipsec daemon clear and type sudo ipsec status to check the status Tunnel 2 connection is established. Tunnel 1 connection is also established. Type if config. And we can see 169.254 address are assigned to each end of peer to peer virtual tunnel interface. Let's go back to VPN connection. Click refresh. Select the VPN. And we can see both the tunnel status is now up. Quickly launch EC2 dashboard, launch instance, provide instance name, proceed without key pair, click edit network settings, disable auto assign public IP, and in security groups, let's allow all ICMP from side range of local data center. Click launch instance. Instance is created and we can see only private IP is assigned. Let's go back to VPC dashboard. Click route tables. Select root. Click roots tab. Click edit routes. Add route. Provide side range of local data center. And for target, select virtual private gateway and click save changes basically all traffic destined to the cider range of local data center will be routed through virtual private gateway let's go back to the ec2 instance and copy the private ipv4 address and we will ping to this instance using private ip from our data center and we are able to ping to this EC2 instance using private IP from our on-prem data center or customer gateway using side-to-side -side VPN. That's it for today. If you found it helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you at the next one. Until then, keep floating on the cloud.